really pleased and excited to announce the addition of Lucas Milano. Uh, we've been looking for an attacking piece. And he's certainly a player we've had our eye on for several years. Started tracking him when he was with Belgrano, um, you know, several years ago, and then followed him with his move to Linus. And, um, you know, we feel like he'll come in and make an immediate impact uh, for now. Um, we're obviously in a playoff push, hopefully uh, have the opportunity this year to do something special, and, and we think it'll be another um, attacking piece that will help uh, bolster, um, you know, our attacking options and hopefully increase our scoring production. Um, so we're excited. He'll be here hopefully soon. Uh, we don't know exactly when, um, but like I said, I think he'll help us now, but also be a player because of his age and upside that will continue to grow and get better, and hopefully he'll be with us for years to come. He's somebody we're very excited about, to say the least. It's uh, another quality player that we're bringing into the fold. It's another attacking piece that uh, Caleb can utilize in many, many different ways. And this is a player that we've spent a lot of time scouting, uh, a lot of time looking at, a lot of time recruiting, to be honest. And it's great that we've finally got his signature. It's a great time. Uh, it's a great thing for the club. And it shows the development of the league and the development of the club. What's great about him is he's very versatile. Um, he, he's played on the right wing in a 4-4-2 and a 4-3-3. He's played on the left wing. 4-4-2, 4-3-3. He's played as a center striker uh, in a 4-3-3. He's played as a, uh, you know, in a two front as well. So in our system, you know, with the 4-2, that back six uh, being structured in the front four, um, being somewhat fluid at times, uh, where we can play two strikers, one striker. We can play with inverted wingers. We can play with true wingers. He can play any of the front four positions. So that's one of the reasons we really like him, um, is he's versatile. Because we have other good players. And, um, you know, the, the ability to mesh him with, with our other good players and pick a lineup in a, in a game plan and a system that will fit that game, uh, we feel is a, is a real positive. But, um, but in saying that, he also brings some dimensions that we, we feel we don't have. Um, you know, he's another player that can change a game individually. He's, he's very good running with the ball and creating for himself off the dribble. Uh, he's got extreme athleticism and pace to stretch uh, the back four and threaten. Um, you know, he's a guy that can, you know, gobble up ground quickly. So whether we're playing him wide and, and you know, we're, we're at home and we're up the field and he's eliminating, you know, the, the right or left back, uh, changing the game that way or whether we're playing on the road and, and countering and he's playing center striker and you know becomes a player that can now stretch a bit more he just brings a different dimension um, you know so again I think it's it's a real positive that he's versatile and, and it's a positive that he brings some different things to the table we also feel he while he's still somewhat unproven as a goal scorer all goal scorers start out unproven and we feel like he has the ability with more time up top uh, scoring goals um, we feel like he's on the cusp of, of, of uh, really coming into his own as a, as a goal scorer. We've seen signs of that this year in the last several years. Um, you know, I think his production has not maybe been quite what you would uh, want in looking to bring a player in, but mostly that's because he's been playing wide a lot. Um, when he's up top, he's a guy that if you, if you see him on film, you watch him live, he's a guy that does show a, a nice finishing touch. So he's not just an athlete. He does have good technique, and um, you know we're excited about his addition. He, he's very quick. He, he's dynamic in his movement. He, he's attack-minded. Those are all traits that uh, we, we wanted within within the player that we signed. When we initially went out and started looking for a DP, we didn't just look at one continent. We scoured the world, and we had certain traits that we were going after. And two of the key ones was we we wanted the, the player to be dynamic, and we wanted them to be able to play a, a certain way. And after looking at many, many players and, and investigating many opportunities, he, he was a player that ticked all the boxes and uh, a player that got us excited. He's an experienced player already, and, and while his age uh, is still young, we, we think that with his level of experience and his qualities, he, he's not a young player uh, as such. I, I think he is an asset for the club now and he will be an asset for the future. We didn't specifically say, let's go and get a young player. We said, let's go and get a player that suits the team, 
Uh, similar to the signing of Aleri, we said we wanted a player that could benefit the team now and in the future, and uh, they had to be able to play a certain way. And we signed Milano, and so we looked at players of all ages, to be honest, in, in various parts of the world, and it came back to, we think this would be a, a good partnership with the group of players that we have. We think it will be a, a very successful player. And if you look at the mould of the Valeri, when we signed a Valeri, he was fairly unknown to, to a lot of the, the American soccer fans, but worldwide was very, very well respected. And Milano has attracted a lot of interest from many European clubs and, and clubs in, in North America. So he's a player that's already attracted the attention of some of the top clubs, and he's a player that is of a certain quality, and it, it took a lot of effort to get him here. Does having the Argentina contingent already here, the group of guys, um, is that going to help, you think, the adjustment? Yeah, I think that helps because uh, anytime you can, you know, lean on someone else that's gone through that transition, um, you know, I think it doesn't hurt. The fact that he joined a club after Valeri left and one of the comments the player made is, I always wanted the opportunity to play with Valeri. And so things like that obviously help. You know, the Argentinians that we have are very, very well respected and they're, they're very well known. So it, it makes it easier when you've already signed an Argentinian, there's already been a pioneer that, that's laid that foundation and joined the club for Milano to follow. When did you start skating? When was the first time you saw him? Oh, goodness, start of 2012. So uh, aware of him, 2013, another visit, 2014, uh, another visit in 2015, we were able to sign him. It's uh, as we're developing it with this club, we're developing the scouting department, we're, we're, we're developing the succession plan. These things are, are coming. So he, he's a player that uh, got a lot of our interest uh, and attention many, many years ago. And he, he kept that interest and that attention. And uh, finally, it's, it's paid off, I believe, for everyone. Good players will be wanted by many clubs and not just one club. And, and it takes a, a certain connection for, for that player to commit to a club. And when, when you're looking at a young player, you would have to say why he chose MLS and not Europe. The image of MLS is changing drastically. I think, especially in Argentina, the the league, MLS, the league is getting a lot of publicity. It's getting a lot of notoriety, and they're seeing players come over here and do fairly well and, and enjoying their football, and they're seeing the football develop. And I, I think with a player like this, it, it's very satisfying not only for the league but for us as a club to show that we are moving in the right direction. So, when you look at the clubs that we're, we're also vying for for this player, it's quite a feather in our cap, I think.